Hi, everybody. It's Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori. We are recording live. My guests are here. Everything's unscripted. I don't know what objects they're going to show me. Let's see what they've got. Hi, show. Hi. Hold up those objects. Let's see what you got. Okay. Well, let's start with cabbage or, or whatever vegetable that dish is. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? My name's Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan, where are you calling from? I am calling from Connecticut. Where in Connecticut? I grew up in Connecticut. Uh, Naugatuck. Naugatuck, sure. Yeah. That's fun. So yeah. show me that object. What have you got? Okay. So I have a soup terrain that's... Do you, um, do you eat that? a lot of vegetable soup? No. So this I bought a while back and just held on to it, and I saw a resurgence of, like, um, cabbage things. Hold it up for me so everybody can see it. I'm sorry. Cabbage you saw a thing. resurgence of something? Yeah, I saw a resurgence of cabbage items for sale through like William Sonoma Home Goods. Yeah. And I held on to it. And so now I'm thinking about selling it. Okay. Can you take the lid so, off? Yeah. Can you remove the ladle? <laughs> Having all the pieces is important. The underplate, the big underplate is important. Yeah. The ladle is good. He's got the lid. Yeah, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah. There's a can couple little chips on it. Couple um, little chips on it. All right. I'm not the... crazy about chips, you know. I hate cracks. Yeah, I know. That, but, yeah. You know. Okay, let's see. And then there's no it's cracks. Pretty, it's pretty significant, right? Yeah, it's about um, like the the width and the height. I like diameter. You remember diameter from math yeah. class? Uh huh. <laughs> I hated so math, they, but well, I didn't hate math. Did you? Diameter like math? is. <laughs> uh, I actually tutored math. In, yeah, uh, math is okay, yeah. right? Yeah, math is yeah. good. Yeah, math so is good. So at the at the widest part where it bows out, it's about seven inches. Oh, so it's not that big. So, right. And then yeah. the height Show me the underside. I don't care about that. Show yeah. me the underside. <laughs> You're showing me stuff I don't want to see. Jonathan, yeah. you are slow. You are yeah. slow, slow, <laughs> slow. You're a young guy, slow. I need a little closer for me. Uh, well, it's upside down. So, made in China? Where, where were we going? It says made in Italy, and then there's... Um, where does it say made in Italy? Right. Oh, yeah, made in Italy. Here. That's a little better. And okay. then it's got glaze uh, on the underside. You see it, the glaze? Does everybody see the shiny stuff that, that Jonathan's showing us? The glaze on the bottom is a good sign. I like a glaze on the bottom. And people go, well, why, Dr. Lori? What does it matter? Well, you know what? It's one more step that people take, right? So they're, they're basically saying it's not the greatest in terms of quality. It's not the most innovative design. But when they do things like that, they're actually trying to protect the clay, right? They're thinking, gee, if we can put a little bit more of the glaze on the bottom, it's pretty good. So what? Uh, where did you buy it? I bought this at Goodwill. Okay, how much did you pay? Uh, $4.99. $4.99 is pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I would say value on it, about 35 bucks. Okay. A whole operation. Okay. Not bad. Okay. Hey, have you uh, signed up for my newsletter? I have, yes. All right. It's helpful, right? Yep. Yeah, Good. very helpful. Easy to do. DrLoriV.com. Don't forget. And I've got a question of the day for you. Hey, Madonna or Taylor Swift? <laughs> I have to go Taylor Swift. <laughs> yeah, okay. She's fun. She's fun. She's going to yeah. shake it off, right? Yeah, yeah. Nice nice to see you. Thank nice you. Nice to see you, too. Regards Thank to my you. favorite state. That's right. I love my home, my home state of Connecticut. Oh, yeah. Lots of things you want to think about when you're looking for ceramics. One of the things that Jonathan did right is he bought the whole set. Right. So he made sure that he got the ladle if it's available. And when you're in these thrift stores, look around because sometimes all the ladles are put together because whoever put out the soup tureen and the underplate didn't know there was a ladle. So the ladles end up with ladles. And then, you know, so try to match it up and sort of look around. It's a treasure hunt out there, people. You got to do a little bit of hunting. So I'm sure you'll find it. Hey, my guests are here. Let's see what we've got. Hold up those objects. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. All right. Well, I think I'm going to start with that ceramic piece. What's this ceramic piece we got? Um, actually, it's not ceramic. It's ivory. I know because I was choosing somebody else, but I'll look oh. here. <laughs> All right. Um, you know what happens? Sometimes I'm not clear and, you know, I wasn't descriptive enough. So tell me a little bit about this. Why do you think it's ivory? Um, well, it was given to me a number of years ago uh, by an ex of mine who was also a collector um, of quite a, quite a number of odd things. Is that the reason that you think it's ivory? The question was, why do you think it's ivory? Not where you got I have, it or your ex or any of your other stuff. Why? I have done a bit of research regarding ivory, especially recently, and I noticed that there are a certain pattern 
for certain types of um, even bone, but also ivory. This has a bit of a crosshatch. On the channel, I do a whole video on telling the difference between ivory and, and bone, which is a crosshatch. It's on the right, channel. Right, this has the crosshatch. Okay. okay. So I know it's a little hard to see. So now you've got a sense that it is ivory. So how yes. old do you think it is? <sighs> it's got to be pre-ban. Not that old. Yeah. So basically, it's a piece that usually an old piece of ivory will deteriorate, this is what to look for, to a butterscotch color, you know, to kind of a very, very butterscotchy brownish color. Nice color, not, not quite caramel, but more butterscotch. This mm -hmm. piece is very, very light now. Could it have been whitewashed? Could it have been basically uh, not handled very much? Sure, that's possible. So this is a nice piece. And uh, you acquired it from, uh, I'm sorry, ex, from a friend? Ex-boyfriend, ex-boyfriend. Ex and by the way, Did on the inside you here. Jewelry? I never had boyfriends who gave me jewelry. How about on you? The in, I think this had, at one point, four bands that went around it. Oh, that my gosh, gold. you're answering none of my questions. Sorry. <laughs> Could you repeat, please? Yes, Sonny, I can. So tell me. I was just joking around. Boyfriends, jewelry, a lot, not a lot, what? Um, boyfriend, he collected a lot of different jewelry and he also oh. sold it as well. Oh, he okay. actually had several of these uh, of different kinds and he just had me choose one. At the time it fit and unfortunately no longer so. <laughs> I like what you chose. I think it's a nice design. I think it dates to the early years of the 20th century. I think it's worth about $90. Okay. Now, um, question of the day is Taylor Swift or Madonna? Madonna. <laughs> okay, nice I to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my pleasure. You got to answer my questions, people. You know, <laughs> at some point you got to go, it's Dr. Lori's show. Anyway, so there was a ceramic piece that I wanted to talk about. Let's see whether or not we can get back to that. And if we can't, that's fine too, because there's so many folks who uh, want to, of course, be guests. And I appreciate all of them. And those of you who are saying, I can't get on, I didn't get on, you got to participate. That's so, nice. And then people yeah. are saying, oh, well, you know, I see the same people. You got to participate. Everybody's welcome. Get on there. You go to the specials and shop page, click that link, and you can do that. Hi, I want to see that piece, the guy in the red shirt. He's got a piece of ceramic in his hand. I want to see it. Hi, what's your name? Hi, Dr. Lori. It's Kurt from Wausau, Wisconsin. Wausau, Wisconsin. What's happening, Kurt? And who's that pretty person next to you? Uh, that is my wife, Janet. Hi, Janet. What's happening? Are you oh. involved in this? Did you hunt treasure hunt for this, Janet? No, she did not. No? Okay. Kurt, how'd you acquire this? Uh, estate sale uh, from a neighbor who was a antique art collector for 40 plus years marked. and she is, is now out of the business. Is it marked? Oh my gosh, yes. no one's listening to me. I'm getting aggravated. Is it marked? <laughs> yep. It's a Weller. It's a Weller. Good, 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 good. Uh, Luciana. What'd you pay, honey? Uh, probably, I think it was about Janice, four bucks. I can see it. She's saying you can't see it. You can't see it. I can Price, see it. It was marked Go 25. Ahead. Don't help. Yeah. Come on, continue. Uh, well, her tag was 145 and I paid, I wow. think, $4. 145 No, it was 45 Wow. Yeah. So you paid four, $4 or you paid $45? $4. You paid yep. $4. Okay. Well, she's a friend of yours and you did very well. Okay, great. So tell me, have you had a video call with me before? Uh, yes, you've okay. uh, uh, done two of them for me. Okay. Fun, right? Easy to book? Yeah. You do it on the website? Uh, well. You do. That's how you book the video calls, Kurt. <laughs> I'll yeah. help you out. Value on the piece in your hand, about $100, $175. Nice. I like it a lot. It's in beautiful condition. I love the glaze. I like the hand painting work, too. Of course, early 20th century. Weller, brand names. I love brand names. Wonderful piece. Hey, Madonna or Taylor Swift? Madonna. It's got to be Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we love the puppy dogs. What's the dog's name? Uh, that's Lacey. Oh, Lacey, you're a dog. <laughs> you're just beautiful. You're just beautiful. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> hey, nice to see you both. Regards to Wisconsin. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. If I'm asking questions, you got to answer them. I mean, my gosh, I'm not getting any younger over here. <laughs>
<laughs> nice to see you all. Great guests, a lot of fun, good objects too. When you're looking at ceramics like that, I want you to focus on hand painting, but I want you to also focus on the glaze, right? Because the way in which the glaze is actually applied is going to impact value. It's going to speak to quality. And that's what we're looking for. Don't forget to subscribe to the newsletter. That's quality too. It's going to teach you an awful lot about some of the things that you need to know. And of course, I'm helping you. Pay, buy low and sell for top dollar. Reselling tips galore on drlaurieb.com. So don't forget about that too. My guests are here. Here they are all over the world. I talked to Australia today too. It was fun. Let's talk bling. I want to see the jewelry. <laughs> I want to see the jewelry. I want to see the pin with the earrings. Hi, mm. what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, I'm Teresa. Hi, Teresa. Where are you calling from, hon? I'm calling from Georgia. Okay. So tell me about this pin. Let's start with the pin, then I'll look at the earrings. Okay, so I bought it. It's a set at a thrift store, and the pin was three dollars. Oh gosh. Okay, great. great. And the um, the um, earrings are three, so six dollars for the set. Marked? Yes, it says Emmons. E M M O N. -S. Uh. Emmons, E-M-M-O-N-S. And if you want to see all of the marks, many of the marks about all different things, uh, silver, gold, costume jewelry, which which jeweler, which costume jewelry designers I think will continue to be good in value. So we've got a little, can I see the back? Let's talk about clasps a bit. We've got some inset pieces. We've got nice set stones. And notice, of course, the you can tell by the dates of the way in which the designer marks have changed over time. So for example, the Emmons piece is right up against uh, the actual, we'll call it sort of a floral star burst on one of them. Yeah, right there at the bottom. Thank you very much. That's a nice element. It indicates that this piece, of course, is in that 1960s, moving toward the 1970s time period. That's nice. Um, does the does the pin work well? Does the clasp work well? Yes, it works okay. perfectly. Can I see the other side, please, so we can see the front? Yeah, very nice. No missing faux stones or faux pearls. And the mm. texture, the two-tone texture is nice. So you've got the textural element, and then you've got sort of the straight gold tone metal element too, or the gold fill. That's nice. Can I see the earrings? Are the earrings clip-ons? Are they screw Yes, they are. They're clip-ons. Clip-ons. Right near your camera. Stop. Perfect. There you go. Very nice. So you got the set for six bucks. Value on the set, 200 <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Based on actual sales records on, of course, online, on auctions, Poshmark, eBay, Ruby Lane, Etsy, all the places where we typically see a lot of movement in the costume jewelry market, right? And I've been telling you what to buy. You watch the channel. So many of you on video calls are telling me, Dr. Lori, I watch the channel. You tell me what I'm supposed to look for. I look for it. I find it. I buy it at a low price. I flip it for a lot. Over and over and over again, I'm getting these testimonials. I want you to succeed. This is what I want. So you can do whatever you want. Collect your, make your own collection, resell it for money, help out your kids, help out your family, treat yourself. I'm big on treat yourself, you know. <laughs> so there's nice, beautiful, <laughs> wonderful. Um, one question for you, Taylor Swift or Madonna? You're going to hate my answer because oh. I don't listen to either of them. Okay. I don't hate your answer. Oh, Who's, your favorite? Who's your favorite musician? Um. Okay. So I really like Bob Dylan. All right. Bob Dylan. I met Bob Dylan. I talk about that in another video. But anyway, so you can, you should look at those videos. And if you haven't seen him, thanks so much for being with me. Bob Dylan's a good choice. Yeah. Uh, thank you. I love and him. If you, okay. And if you haven't seen all those videos where I tell stories about Bob Dylan and many other celebrities that I've met, um, you can go to the binge link. That's right. The binge link is really easy to use. What is it? It's all of my videos in one easy place. Go to specials and shop page at drlaurieb.com and scroll down. There's a big red button that says binge link and there's a link next to it. Click on it. It will show you all the videos in order with the most recent video that I do first. So it's a way to utilize the channel and you binge and you get all the information so you don't miss a bit of all of this great information that we're giving here on the channel. So thanks to that guest. That was fun from Georgia. Let's see what they've got. <laughs> Hold them up. Let's see what they've got. All right, let's talk jewelry. What are you doing, handsome? How'd you acquire this piece of jewelry? How's it going, Dr. Lori? Doing well. What's your name, hon? Peter. Hey, Peter. Where are you calling from? Boston area? Yep. <laughs> oh, all right. Nice to see you. Back up a little bit. I can't see your face. There you go. So how are things? 
Good. Yourself? Good. Great. Show me what you got. What have you been shopping for? I got this today. All right. I've been waiting a while to show you a vase that I have, but I was so excited about this when I bought it today, I had to show it to you. I got to tell you, I like the luster. Yeah. The ones at the bottom, you see that it's a double strand, which is always good. You know, two yep. is better than one. A double strand is very nice. I like the luster. You can see that luster on the bottom of them. Um, tell me a little bit about the clasp or show me the clasp. Is that a sterling silver clasp? It is sterling. It and says it's marked sterling, sterling on the side of it. And it's yeah. okay. vintage, if not antique. It's got a lot of patina. Back up a little bit. All right. That's nice. I like it. I would say looking at a couple of things. So hold that clasp for me where you had it. Come back here. Yeah. Now turn it, turn it so it's stop. Great. So first of all, that particular class will put, will, you'll push it together. You'll pull it out. So you'll push that little lever together. Thank you. You'll pull it out. Thanks, Peter. And then what it has, has these four little round elements. Those round elements almost look like little C class. And then those connect to the individually, the individually knotted um, pearls. The luster's good. I do not think that they are uh, true cultured pearls, but I think they're very, very good fakes to the point where I think, now tell me, is it, is it 24 inches? Is it, is it 30 inches? Is it 24 inches? Is it 20 inches? How long? The shorter of the two strands is 20 inches. Excellent. All right. So the larger of the two strands is probably 22. And I would say value on it about $350 for the double strand of, again, not cultured. I, I got a fist pump. <laughs> not cultured, but very good faux pearls. Those are really nice. They date to the late 50s, early 60s. You got the fist pump because I got these at Savers. Today. Okay, Savers, the thrift store. Yep. And I don't normally go there because they're overpriced. Oh. These were $8. All right. I saw a woman looking at them yesterday, examining them. Yeah. She didn't buy them. I went back for them today. There you go. <laughs> there you go. And why did you start? Why did you start looking at costume jewelry and pearls? Why? Um, I just, yeah, you too, yeah. I, <laughs> I know, you know it's me. I think, I think these might be real based on the video you did on pearls. I think these might be real pearls because uh, I, I would, I would argue with you for a couple of reasons, but I won't do it here. Here's, here's <laughs> the situation. Here's the situation. First of all, typically you're not going to see that. You're going to see a better quality class. You're also yeah. going to see a consistent luster, which you don't see. Now, could it be your lighting? Sure. But I doubt it. Anyway, if they are real, which I don't think they are, you're looking at probably two grand. <laughs> I don't think they are, sweetie. I don't want to get your hopes okay. up. I like, I like the truth. The truth is what will set you free. Yep. <laughs> so there you go. But very nice, Peter. Wonderful piece. I'm happy either way with that investment. <laughs> hey, you did very well for eight bucks. Can't complain. And that yep. woman is crying because you know she's watching this channel too. I'm sorry <laughs> for her. Anyway, Taylor Swift or Madonna? Madonna. Madonna. You got yep. a favorite song of Madonna? I have a favorite album. I like confessions on a dance floor when she oh, reinvented really? herself yep. yeah oh yeah 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 Very i like her album. later i like her later stuff yep. and i also i also like you know vogue strike a pose oh, yeah. <laughs> i like that yep. <laughs> she's good you know you're not an icon for nothing nice to see you peter <laughs> thank you dr Lurie. Bye, bye 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 yeah yeah a lot of fun but uh, again again the thing with respect to pearls and i do teach you about this with the videos and peter said it you know i'm watching your videos to indicate this so even if he didn't get the cultured pearl mickey moto ones there it is and i show you how you can identify this whether or not they're actually peeling there's a lot to it and what's helping to aid you guys the loop that's right the loop the magnification loop that we sell at drlaurieV.com. I get compensation when you buy one of these products that I recommend. Everybody's telling me how this is a money magnet. Oh my gosh, Dr. Laurie, I got the loop. Oh, the whole world is different now. I look through everything. I look at the loop. I keep it with me. I buy a couple of them, one in my pocket, one in my purse, one at home. It will help you if you're a reseller. It'll help you if you're a collector. It'll help you if you're a treasure hunter. And we're all treasure hunters. My guests are here. What fun we're having. I'm Dr. Lori, the PhD Antiques Appraiser. We are recording live. This is Ask Dr. Lori. Let's see what we've got. Oh, beautiful. Already, I like this um, silver um, necklace. It seems to be on this beige sort of stand. I'd like to look at that closer or more closely is actually the proper right. term. Hi, what's your name? My name is Margaret and I'm calling from Rosenberg, Texas. 
Hi, Margaret. How are things in Texas? Great. Hot. Great. Hot. Well, it's, it's Texas. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> so tell me, how did you acquire this necklace? Let me see your face a bit. Good and then we'll look at that necklace again. There yeah, we go. There's your face. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> Thanks for watching the channel. Do you enjoy the channel? Did you? Um... Uh, I love it. I watch your show. I share it. I have the loop. I have the diamond tester. Next thing oh. I want to get is the gem tester, but I don't have it yet. That's how right. you'll get it. You work on it. The Presidium gem tester is a game changer. You'll love it if you're yes. collecting jewelry. And yes. um, thank you for watching. And most importantly, thank you for sharing because the more you share, the more I can do for you. The more I share you with share, all my the more friends. I Thank yes. you. I appreciate it. I do appreciate it. all of you. If you share, it shows me you care. You got to share. I need you to share because then I can do more videos. I can teach you more stuff. I'm trying to get all of this out. Yes. Right? I've learned so much from watching you. Thank you. I appreciate that. That makes my heart full. Tell me about this piece of jewelry. How'd you acquire it? I picked it up at Goodwill. I actually picked up this necklace and a bracelet as a set but I don't think they're the same uh, for $24. Okay, so let's call it 12 and 12. Want to do that? Let's say you had 12 for the bracelet and 12 for the necklace. You probably really paid like eight for the bracelet and maybe a little, maybe 14 for the necklace. But let's just say it was $12 for that necklace just to, for easy math, okay? Is, yeah. it, is your necklace marked sterling silver? It's marked 925. Excellent. TL24 and then MEX. Good. Very good. All right. So you've got a nice piece. You've got a piece that was made, of course, in Mexico. You've got it 925, which is a little bit better than what we typically see coming out of Mexico at that time. Can you hold that um, piece? You're doing a great job. Thank you for putting it on a stand. Can it be a little closer to your camera so we can see? Because it looks like the pendant has some kind of set stone over a little bit the other way. Keep going. There you go. So it looks like there's a set stone in the middle of that square-shaped pendant on these um, elements that are curved, kind of like crescent moons. I think it is it an opal. Oh, okay. All right. It looks it looks like it could be an opal. It's a little bit dark. It's a little bit dark. Um, if you can it's get a little like, bit closer to your camera, it's got like blue, blue, red. Oh shoot! You're blue, doing all right. Red, green. Mm. Okay. All right. So okay. All right, so basically you're right. We do have that nice gemstone in the middle of this. How long is it? Is it about here, 22 inches or so? Oh, shoot. I forgot to test it to see okay, how well, long it was. But see, I'm looking at this, and it's 20. It's probably 20 inches. All right, 20 inches. The necklace is about here. It's nice condition, time period. Probably dates to the 1980s. Why? Those crescent moon elements and this idea that you are actually going to have these same repeated elements that can be used on a lot of different things. So they just keep linking them together. In this mm -hmm. particular case, the links are, are a great thing. They make each one individually, they make a lot of them, and then they just use them as sort of like, you know, inventory kind of thing. Um, the markings are very important. As I said, probably dates to the 1980s. How much did you pay? 12 bucks, value on it, about $175. Just for the necklace. Just for the necklace. Just awesome. for the necklace. Very nice. Awesome. What do you think? Are you going to hold on to it for yourself? Do you resell? What do you do? I resell. Okay. I How have, are you doing? Uh, I have a rented space okay. here in Rosenberg, okay. and I sell a lot of jewelry. Wonderful. A lot of jewelry. Wonderful. You do well with the jewelry, don't you? Yes, ma'am. That's I why do. I tell you, I'm teaching you what to look for. One of the things is jewelry. I'm showing you all the marks. Where are the and marks? And Goodwill has been very good. Yeah, yeah. I buy the bags. You of buy jewelry. the jewelry boxes and the bags, the jewelry jars and all that. Yeah, there's a lot in yeah. there. On my Real Bargains videos, I show you all of those. And don't forget, of course, that I show you the marks too, right here on the channel. If you watch the videos with the binge link, as well as on drlaurieV.com under research on the website, I'm telling you, what do you look for? How do you do it? It's easy to find right there, the website, the website. Don't miss it. Taylor Swift or Madonna, what would you be your favorite? I don't know either one. I listen to Christian music, so I don't know. Do you? Do you? Great. Yes, yes. Great. So well, who's your favorite Christian music artist? Oh, my goodness. You can put Amy me on Grant? Spot. Not really Amy Grant. More of the newer. All right. Um, 
Well, you think Come about on. that and you enjoy whatever music you enjoy. Nice to see you and wear Thank that in good you. health. <laughs> you. Bye-bye. Yeah, a lot of nice pieces. Now, remember, you know, sterling silver pieces can be marked differently in all over the world. So the way it's marked in Mexico is going to be different than the way it's marked in America and different than the way it's marked in Scandinavia. So you're going to see different marks. You've got to learn all these different marks, right? It's not difficult. I tell you all of it on the website anyway. What fun we had with all our guests and all of you. Thanks for sharing the channel. I'm Dr. Lori. See you next time.